Bold or bolding footballers in the world. Let's get into this video. Hi guys, this is Finn here, that is FYWN, and this is going to be a video on some of the best bold players in football. Now, they might not be completely bold, but they might also have very little hair. And when I say they're bold, it doesn't just mean age, it can just be because they shave their hair or they cut it really, really short. Okay, so don't get confused. And if I miss anyone, please put in the comments if you think I missed any one really great. And yeah, otherwise like, comment and share to show your appreciation for this video and especially subscribe, okay? Now goalkeeper, let's get straight into it. Pepe Reina, okay, I put him in my last few videos, one of the best keepers, uh, most underrated, obviously plays for AC Milan, has played for Napoli, I believe yeah, for quite a while at Liverpool. But I think out of all the goalkeepers out there who do lack hair, I think he's probably the best out there. Okay, now for defence. Um, my four defenders I'm going to go with is Ashley Young, of course, um, has had a very long career. Not that many years left, but has been uh, quite well for United, keeping the other wing backs out of, out of, um, you know, out of the game. Next up, Manchester United uh, teammates, obviously Eric Bailey. Uh, has improved himself a great player at Manchester United yet, has been very well as of late uh, with the game or two that he has played. Been out with injury, but overall not a bad player. Cellini, obviously next, one of the best Italian defenders of all time, I think, without a doubt, definitely in the best Italian team of all time, if you had to put that there. Although Italians have had quite a few great defenders, okay? Obviously did really well with Juventus. Right back, of, though not really a right back, but I have to put him in there because he is doing very well lately. Has to be Benjamin Mendy, of course, oh, like less than two handfuls of games last season. Or this year, got the Premier League and World Cup trophy. That's very good, but otherwise he's doing very well in the beginning of the season or the first half. Uh, there was a stage where he was leading with assists, that's very good. But was actually a pretty decent player, okay? Uh, midfielders, I've got four. First one on the left would have to be Douglas Costa. Been linked heavily to Manchester United overall. And he's also played uh, from Juventus. He's played at Bayern Munich, I know that. And is really good pace wise. Of course, uh, that has that Brazilian flair. Great with the shots and just a really good player overall. Okay. CDM would have to be N'Golo Kante just because I do believe he's one of the best players in the world, no matter the Premier League very composed, very shy, but uh, as I said, one of the best ball players in the world. Right, would, uh, my right mid would definitely have to be uh, Robin. I think Robin's been one of the best for many years, but is obviously going down now with age. One of the best players for Netherlands for many years, and can also play striker, but Iron Robin obviously defined himself played for Chelsea and for Bayern Munich, and is a great player overall, very pacey, very fast. Okay, now my sense of attacking mid would have to be uh, Wayne Rooney. I think Wayne Rooney, is, oh no, I'd, actually no, I'd put Wayne Rooney on the bench. Let's put Iniesta there. Iniesta, one of the best attacking midfielders of all time. Phenomenal player, just the way he plays the ball. Part of Tiki Taka, one of the best players to learn the teams of all time and definitely being the best midfielder of all time along there with Shabby. Okay, obviously getting on with age, but can't not be in this list. Now my two strikers, Lukaku. Okay, now Lukaku's not the best of strikers in the world, but he definitely has his moments. Just because he's having an off-season or off-year, doesn't mean he's not a great striker. He's a phenomenal striker. Did great for Everton, one of the best strikers of all time in my opinion. Uh, started off with Chelsea and West Ham, I mean West Brom obviously. And yeah, I think he can seriously do damage for United now that Sol's vision. Okay, other strike would have to be Kylian Mbappe. Shaves his hair short, so he's not necessarily bald, but has very short hair. One of the most exciting prospects in the future, and without a doubt will at least win 2-3 Ballon d'Ors. And it's time one of the fastest players out there, and very consistent for his age, which is very impressive. Whoever is interested, I have made a video on my channel about the players with the best afros, so if you're interested in this, please go check that out on the channel below. Thank you. Okay, so that is my team and some players that do get honorable mentions is Noldo, obviously gets there, the centre back from uh, Brazil. Uh, as I said, Wayne Rooney would have to be in there, but the reason I took him out is because I would prefer him to be in striker, but I do put those other strikers over him, so that is a pity. Dost would be in there, uh, also Dutch obviously, 
but it doesn't get in there because of who else is in the team, okay? Now, there's probably some big names I have missed out on, but those are my best bold players in the world of football. Thank you very much. This has been my video. Please show your appreciation down below, and cheers.